Today we're going to see a few game projects that I really enjoy watching on YouTube and on the internet in general and they are made with Godot and definitely it's worth watching those guys making those games. Hello guys, Andrew from Yellowhead Games here. Today I'm going to talk about those projects that I really admire and I really enjoy. I learned a lot about game dev watching those guys because there's something that those guys are making right. Because those projects have something that most of the other projects are lacking. The feeling, the vibe and the aesthetic that they're giving to their game. Those games look made by professionals and that's very important if you want to sell your game if you want to reach more numbers. And that's why I'm suggesting you to watch those game devs and probably you learn something. Just analyze how they're doing what they're doing. Basically. The first one actually is DevDuck. Now, it's pretty huge on YouTube and it's pretty famous, but if you didn't know about this project, just go and check DevDuck. Now, he's making Duffing. It's a 2D RPG. It's about a marine biologist. And what I admire about his devlogs is actually the fact that he really dips in when he's explaining. He really explains everything inside his game and why he decided to make like that. And that's pretty interesting because you're going to learn something about how to organize your project maybe and how to make some stuff and you can follow ben as well on twitter as well just go and give some love to the project and support this dev now the next project is actually from Gujis. he is creating div drop dynasty and man it looks gorgeous everything in those projects looks gorgeous but actually i really enjoy all the atmosphere here he made a lot of videos about why he moved to godot and why godot is good for his project and why he appreciates that and you may learn and may understand something on how to make games by watching his videos as well. Now, Dewdrop Dynasty is on Steam. Uh, you can wishlist it right now. Just go and wishlist it and give some support to the project. Now, the next YouTubers are Play with Persifer. Now, those guys <laughs> made a lot of stuff on YouTube about Godot. You have shader stuff, you have coding stuff, you have tips and tricks. They really enjoyed and explained a lot of stuff about game dev in general. Now you can learn a lot of things by by their projects and the last video they made actually was very interesting. They made a game with just 10 lines of code and, and I'm actually going to try this myself to actually make a game with 10 lines of code. <laughs> that looks pretty awesome actually. You can learn a lot from those guys. Now their project is Versifer Fungus and you can see the vibe you're getting here the look you're getting here. Guys, it looks like made by professionals. And this is what you need to achieve on your games if you want to sell it. And I really enjoyed watching all these graphics, all the effects, all the shaders. Just go and give some support to this project as well. Just go and wishlist it. Wishlisting games on Steam actually helps them to you know, with the algorithm and everything. So go and give some support to, to Fusifer's Fungeon as well. Now, last but not least, is a channel that I discovered lately, and this dev is making a game about chess survivors. <laughs> it's very interesting, and he's combining actually vampires with chess mechanics. I mean, that's, that's a very interesting idea, and you can see, the game actually looks pretty interesting, and the fact here is that he really explains very well what he is trying to do and I really enjoy that and there are some tutorials as well here and it's pretty funny actually. You can find Chess Survivors on Steam as well, just go and check it, wishlist it, just download the demo and have some fun playing that. Okay guys, I ended from the future here, I'm editing the video and somehow I forgot about Franz Fury, um, it's a game made by Raphael, he's making a very awesome job. You can see this game, actually, it's nailing everything from the menu, from the FX. You, you're you going to see the quality here, right, right in this game. It's a game about cars. It's, it reminds me of the old kind of genre of arcade games and it looks awesome, guys. You you have fun playing it. Definitely go and check his channel because he makes tutorials and explains stuff as well. Some of those are pretty good and pretty informative and so 
I'm, I think you may learn a lot from this channel, but also you can find some game devs. France Fury is on Steam, so go and wishlist it. Give some support to Raphael because he totally deserves it. It's been working for a while on this game and he deserves everything. You, you, you need to support those projects. They look amazing. It's worth it. It's worth it going and supporting those guys and watching those video logs to actually understand what you need to make better games and put your efforts in making better games as well okay guys thank you for watching if you made so far please check my slime and sliders i just released it it's on android and on hio but android really needs some feedback and you know rating and all the stuff links down in the description obviously every link about all these games are down in the description just go and check them i'm Andrew that from yellowhead games if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below and turn the bell notification on to not lose any of my next videos and more important keep devin games